the Joe Rogan experience. There's also guys. I can't, I'm not going to go into details. Okay. But I met, I feel like I shouldn't even say this, but it's fine because it's fine. So I, I met a kid once who moved to Las Vegas when he was, this is a crazy story to tell. Damn. But it's a good story. Okay, I won't go into details. So he moved to Las Vegas when he was 12. He moved there because he wanted to meet a specific person who was considered the best card cheat ever. Meaning the guy, the, this is a guy that the reason that Vegas has those, instead of like the dealer peeking the, the down card, they have to put it into a machine and push a button. He's the guy that the movie Casino was built around with the computer and the shoe. Like he was the the best card sheet ever, but among magicians, he's like a phenomenon because he's working on moves not to entertain anybody. He's working on moves so he doesn't get his hands smashed up against a wall at Binion's, you mm, know, right? Yeah. So he's working on moves so he's not going to get killed. Survival. Yes. But yeah. He, so he right. – so, this kid at the age of 12 knows about him, moves to Las Vegas, and buys a craps table. He puts the craps table, it's him and his mom, right? His mother, single mother and him. They, they live in this small apartment very close to the man I was telling you about. And this kid throws dice 15 hours a day on this craps table. By the way, their little bed is like under the table. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. a small space and it's a real craps table, like a nice one. The only thing he does is repetitiously throw the, and he can helicopter spin the dice so you can't see them doing this. They have such force going around this way that when they hit the wall, one die won't break the number. And he can throw it exactly to this part of the of the table, missing this from across the table so that one die locks and every time he can guarantee that number. He did that every day for almost a decade until he could throw dice better than any other human being in the world. Then he went and got a job at one of the casinos that texts for car cheats and worked in the craps tables. It's all he did. And as soon as he turned 21, he went out, travels the world, and wins the exact amount of money that he should win playing craps where you're not detected, but <laughs> but you can... What is the exact amount? I mean, I, un, under, yeah. you know... Probably, under a million? Yeah, I, probably a few million a year. So but I'm saying it's not like he's going in and getting right. greedy. It's it's very smart and structured. Yeah, and, and that's going to different living. places. And he can throw dice like I've never seen anybody throw dice. It's terrible. Yeah, I, I'm a definite addict, and I got to watch it. But the, the sex addict thing, I mean, I just think that that's one that's unchecked for so many people yeah. and so acceptable. Mm -hmm. And um, porn addiction. I mean, I, I can't get off without watching porn. You can't get off at all without no, watching porn? not even close. I wouldn't really? even try if my internet was down. We, we had a power outage the other day at my house, and it was just like, okay, well, that's— I would be screwed without – I couldn't do it. I mean, I would figure out a way. I think I would manage, but if my if my toys aren't working and aren't plugged in and if I don't have porn, <laughs> I'm just not getting off. I've never been someone who can do it manually and, wow. and with my imagination. It's really a problem because the porn I watch is, like, not good. What kind? Joe. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Um, dude, <clears throat> it's bad. Like, what I mean, kind? Like – Stepmom well, stuff? No. Oh, that's no. tame. Are you kidding Gang me? Gang rape? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Really? I mean, I got a threat on um, like a DM from just some fucking troll a while back that was like, if I put out a hit on the dark web for you to be gang raped and asked, paid the guys $100,000 to do it, I could, I could make that happen. And you know someone would accept that. And I was like, joke's on you that that's... My fantasy. No, I mean, I was. I, I don't really mean that. Please do not do that. But I was also like, no, that's. I, I'm not joking. Like that tends to be the stuff that I watch is like really aggressive gang bangs and like women tied up. I I I pay for my porn because I feel so bad what's happening to the women in it. I hope that they are being compensated for it. So I pay like thirty bucks a month for Kink.com. I'm wow. watching really fucked up stuff. Um, and I've always been to, been into like 
being tied up and like uh, I'm someone who doesn't feel like I deserve pleasure without like having pain. Like I don't ever celebrate anything. And I can only celebrate or like relax if I put in so much work that I'm just like dead. So I can, it's really hard for me to like enjoy myself in life. I always have to have, it's, I have to punish myself first. <clears throat> and so orgasms are not something that like I feel, I feel it's hard for me to give myself one and let myself have that much. It's like, it's too much. It's like Christmas. And you're like, you have to wait a year for Christmas. You can't give yourself Christmas every day. So I feel I like to be tied up and like forced to have Christmas. And like I. Jesus Christ. That's what I, that's what I tend to like is like, you have to do this. And because I'm so, I don't like losing control either. And the orgasm is like the most you can lose control. I just feel like. I don't I don't like being that out of control and I don't know what's going to happen. I'm scared I'm just going to like shit everywhere or something. Like I'm totally scared of shitting everywhere. I am. Is no one else scared of that? But what let's do, really do, let's, what sorry, do when you do Let's do a bunch of ketamine and stab ourselves like David Blaine. <laughs> That's got his cooties on it. It went through his arm. I don't even think we cleaned it. Good. Did it really go through his arm? Oh, it, I pushed it through. And then he made you stop for a second. Yeah, we. I hit a nerve the first time, then I had to back out and do it again. I didn't want to do it. He Did want... the frog live? Yeah, yeah, the frog's fine. He shit the frog out. He threw it up in my hand. Do you know that there's a book called mm. "Eat That Frog" that's like about getting your work done in the morning? <laughs> it's just funny. He literally <laughs> eat the, ate the frog. Oh, uh, like eat it, just like get it over. Like with, get the get worst done. part done. Mm. Huh. Andy and good. I have swallowed way weirder things. <laughs> I know, to it's be really honest, weird. Yeah, we swallowed a lot, honestly. That's not even a sharp ice pick. This is. Did it make a sound at all? No, it just was like. Puncturing a stake, and it wasn't. You picked the spot that well, you stabbed. Well, he kind of t pointed me towards his arm, like what area is a better place to go through. But it was bleeding. I mean, do you think I, it would taste like elk? I don't think so. I think people taste like pigs. Mm. Ooh, that's, that's what they a say. really changes good. everything. Mm. <laughs> Cannibals call people long pigs. Long pigs. That's literally uh, like a, a nickname. Did you notice that? Uh, Blaine, whenever he would have you do something, he would first like doubt himself. It's almost like a, a power of suggestion thing where he'd be like, no, no, it might be fake. Test it out. It might be fake. Remember the frog. It yeah. might not be a real frog. Right. Or yeah. the, the, this might be weighted. So yeah. you can see it right there. That's where I'm, I'm going through his arm. <laughs> Whose hand yeah. is that? That's his That's hand? his hand. That's his hand. He's like pushing on the skin. That is the darkest hand I've ever seen in my life. Well, he, he gets tanned. He's got a lot of money. Is there something? <laughs> is there something psychological? He's out it's there either the you're beach. very poor or That's you're very what, rich. If yeah, you're tan, it looks there, your looks face, right Joe. Is there something psychological about him doing that? Like, touch it. Maybe it's fake. Make sure it's not fake. Um, yeah, I'm sure it does that with cards, and it, I'm sure I don't know anything about magic, but I would imagine anything you could do, do to overload the brain. Mm. Like if you're uh, distract. Yeah, if you're sparring with someone or fighting, one of the things you're doing is you're trying to overload their brain. So you're moving, you do things, you faint, you, you fake like you're gonna punch, and then you kick them. This, but you, what you're doing is you're fucking with their heads, you're giving them too many things to think about. He's kind of doing that too. Yeah. Like check the cards out, and he says things, and he kind of doubts himself, and asks you if you're sure there's so many techniques involved in it. but he is a master amazing him doing that shit to he had so he cool. did a card trick with one guy holding one of his wrists and another guy holding another wrist like he couldn't do anything his sleeves were rolled up and he, he did a card trick for us so cool someone i know you're not supposed to say how magic happens but i don't i don't think that this counts as like but uh, there was this guy that I knew that did You're afraid the... you're going to get in trouble at the Magic gonna... Castle? <laughs> She's like, I'll never go to the Magic Castle again. I'm afraid I'm going to get canceled Jimmy by Schubert's going to be so fucking mad at me. <laughs> I know a magician's coming for me. But sometimes they carve holes into their hands, uh, like flaps of skin, and that's where they put the coins underneath. Like, they actually... What? Yeah, they carve, like, little divots in their hands, and that's how they hold the coins. How the fuck can you carve they a do... divot in your skin? And then you let they it do... heal, yes, so there's, like... Yes, it's like scar like a... tissue, and that's how they're able to hold the coins. What? Crazy shit. I Come don't know. on, really? Yeah, is there really no way to find out how magicians do their tricks? Well, you'd have to become a magician. You have to. Yeah. They let you in. You gotta get in the club. <laughs>